Here we have a problem about conditional probability that involves a tree diagram. So there's this big amount of text here, and I won't read all of this. That's the problem. And then there's a diagram that goes along with it. Um, to give you the short version of this, this text describes a situation where there's a class in statistics, and then 60% of the students go to these extra discussion sessions. 40% don't. Um, the ones who go to the discussion sessions, 70% of them get a grade of B or better. And um, only 25% of the students who don't go to the sessions get a grade of B or higher. So the discussion sessions seem to help. Uh, and what we want to do here is fill out the tree diagram that goes along with these probabilities, and then have, we have a question to answer at the end. So let's take a look at the diagram. So you can't see all of it at one time on this page. There's the bottom half. But basically, if we start here on the left, what we have is two probabilities. Up top, we have the probability of D. That's um, the probability of uh, attending a discussion session. So those uh, students who regularly attend the discussion sessions, that was 60%. So the probability of that is 0.6. And then on the bottom here, we have the probability of not D. Well, we can just use the, the complement rule here, because the probability of not something is 1 minus the probability of that thing. So this would be 0.4. That's the 40% of those students who don't go to the discussion session. And then we have branches to follow both on the top and the bottom. Let's go along the top first. So these are the students who regularly attend the discussion session. And the first one we have up top here is the probability of getting a B or better, given that they're going to the discussion session. And we're told that that's 0.7. Down here, we have the probability of not getting a B or better, given that they're going to the discussion session. Well, we can use the complement rule again here. Uh, given D, they're either going to get a B or higher or not get a B or higher. So 1 minus 0 0.7, 0 0.3. Now, this last part of the tree here is maybe a little bit trickier. This asks for the probability of the intersection of going to the discussion sessions and getting a B or higher. Well, really, that's just these two events here, um, going to the discussion sessions and, given that they're going, getting a B or higher. So we can determine the intersection by just multiplying these two events. So 0.6 times 0.7. And that equals 0.42. We'll do the same thing down here. The probability of um, the intersection of going to the discussion session and not getting a B is going to be 0.6 times 0.3. That's going to be 0.18. And now let's go to the lower branch here. So these are the students who are not attending the discussion sessions regularly. And down here, we're told that the um, probability of not getting a B or higher, given that they're not going to the discussion sessions, is 0.75. So up here, a probability of getting a B or higher, given that they're not going to the dis discussion sessions, is going to be 0.25. We simply subtract this from 1. Again, given that they're not going to the discussion sessions, you either have to get a B or higher or not get a B or higher. And then finally, these two intersections we can calculate by just multiplying. So this one is the probability of not attending the discussion sections intersecting with uh, getting a B or higher. That is 0.4 times 0.25. And that's 0.1. And this one is the probability of not attending the discussion sessions and not getting a B or higher, the intersection there. And that is going to be 0.4 times 0.75. And that, of course, is 0.3. And if we've done all this correctly, these four probabilities of those intersections, they should all add up to 1. So 0.42 plus um, 0.18, that's 0 0.6, 0 0.7, yep, 1.0. All right, so we filled out our tree correctly. Let's look at the question here. It says, what is the probability that a randomly chosen student did not receive a grade of B or higher in the course. Well, let's look along um, the edge here. Here, they did not receive a B or higher. Here they did. And here they did not receive a B or higher. And here they did. So it's this chunk of the possibilities and this chunk. And all we have to do is add those together. 
and we'll get the probability that someone did not receive a grade of B or higher in the course, and that is 0.48. So that's a little bit of work with conditional probability and tree diagrams.